Major Mohammad Ali Shah is with us on the broadcast for this story. Major Mohammad Ali Shah, how do you analyze uh, this situation? Operation Ganga has been a massive success. Uh, however, there are some people that are still left. There are some of them who don't want to come back. Uh, what are your assessment from this? Oh, well, uh, firstly, Operation Ganga has been extremely successful. I commend the Indian government, the diplomats, the Indian Air Force. 26 February, two days after the attack was launched by Russia on Ukraine, this operation was launched and it has done wonders. We have already brought in back to 22,500 plus students from uh, Ukraine, in fact. And now, uh, remaining 15, 20 who are remaining, uh, that, that also, they also would be accommodated very, very soon, very soon, in fact. And the ones who would be uh, who do not want to come, it is their wish, and they have a right, all rights about their safety. But let me tell you my perception as to why I perceive they would not want to come back. First, they are concerned about their education. So are everybody else. But these people, I they feel that some universities over there had not permitted online education. They had said no, you have to attend college online, offline. So you have to be physically present there. I don't know what logic that makes. Second reason is I, I can see it as. No, they, they perceive it for their safety. They perceive if they travel, then anything can happen. It's a war zone. It's unpredictable. Eh? The bomb will not ask whether it's landing up at the airport or high rise or a government building or a bus or a taxi or whatever. The bomb will just land. Even if there's a ceasefire or there's a humanitarian corridor, they can always be application of ceasefire. So they are concerned. Third reason that I see is that some of them would be feeling that, okay, you no, know, we empathize with the Ukrainian, our friends. How can we leave them and go and such things? For whatever reason, their concern is their concern. It's totally their business. Now, there were three Indians who were stranded in Kherson. And now they have been very, very safely and successfully evacuated via Simphophalloon and by Moscow. And they have just boarded. They would be back to our motherland very, very soon. So I think Operation Ganga has been a very, very successful operation. And India has always, has never been behind in conducting these kind of operations for on humanitarian grounds, be it, we saw it all happening in the early 90s in the Gulf War, we also ha saw it happening in Afghanistan when 15th August when the Taliban took over, we have evacuated not just Indians, but we have had a thank you note from our neighboring adversary uh, from Pakistan, we have had thank you note from uh, Bangladesh, in fact, which is already a friendly country to us, and we also gave, India also gave out a statement saying that they will evacuate every Asian who is in dire need of help. So it shows how concerned and how humanitarian Indians are. Absolutely. So most of Priyanka, you said it right, Operation Ganga has been a grand success overall. Major Mohammed thank you for joining us on the broadcast and sharing your uh, insights into Operation Ganga.